I, 54, male, got divorced from my wife, 48, female, eight years ago, and my daughter, 28, female, cut all contact with me and chose her mother's side without even asking me how I felt. Even though my divorce was nearly a decade ago, it has taken a lot of time for me to accept how things turned out to be and make peace with my life. This has been partly because my ex-wife tried to completely destroy my reputation, but mostly because I really love my daughter and being completely shut out from her life was harder than anything. As she was an adult at the time, there was no way for me to be in her life unless she wanted me to be, and she seemed sure of her decision to pick her mother over me. I don't have any family of my own except my mom who had Alzheimer's, so the whole ordeal was definitely one of the worst things that has ever happened to me. I tried to contact my daughter several times after the divorce, but she was dead set on being on her mom's side and didn't even try to hear my side of the story. At one point, my ex reached out to me and sued me for harassment if I didn't leave my daughter alone. That spelled things out for me and I stopped contacting her. I spent the last eight years taking care of my mom and focusing on my career. I've had a few casual relationships here and there, but I feel like I can't truly trust another person after my divorce. Anyway, that has been my life for nearly a decade. Sorry if I seem like a downer. The reason I'm writing this post is because my daughter recently reached out to me after all of this time. I was over the moon and thought that she has finally come to her senses and understood that the divorce was not just my fault. It was also comforting in particular because my mother recently passed away and I've been dealing with that grief by myself and was craving some comfort and family. So my daughter reached out to me a few months after my mother passed away. I got a call from a number I didn't recognize and I picked up to hear a woman's voice on the other side. I didn't know it was my daughter and didn't even recognize her voice because it had been that long since we spoke and I was quite shocked when she introduced herself. She said that she saw on Facebook that her grandma passed away and wanted to check up on me. I was taken aback. I didn't even know that she kept tabs on me online and thought that was sweet of her. I thanked her for calling and said that I was doing all right and told her that I missed her. We talked for a bit and she said that if I wanted to meet and actually catch up in person instead of the phone, she would like that. I was extremely happy and agreed immediately. We agreed to meet at my house over the weekend. I was really excited about meeting her after all these years, so I am writing this post to share my excitement with anyone who might be reading. I hope we can rebuild our relationship again, or at least get to know each other. My daughter came over to have dinner with me because I wanted to cook for her. I was nervous and excited. When I first opened the door, I absolutely didn't recognize her because it's been nearly a decade since I last saw her and she was just a little girl back then. We started talking, and even though it was a little awkward at first, I think we both opened up after a while. She told me about her life and what she does for work, and I told her about my life. After dinner, we finally acknowledged the elephant in the room. I asked her why she never bothered to listen to my side of the story during the divorce and chose her mom by default. I mean, I admitted that her mother was more present as a parent because she was a stay-at-home mom, and back then I worked in construction and worked long hours. But I always tried my best to take out as much time as I possibly could for my daughter. My daughter then said that she regrets how things turned out, and that she was too young to think things through and got manipulated by how her mom made things sound. Basically, my ex-wife painted me as the ultimate bad guy who didn't care about anyone except himself, and since she never got to hear my side of the story, she never questioned whatever her mom said. We talked a bit more about this and things were going well until she finally revealed why she was there. We had been talking for hours at that point when I asked her what made her reach out to me after all these years. She looked a little uncomfortable and I told her that she could be honest with me. 
Well, then she said that she really had been keeping tabs on me through Facebook. And when she found out that her grandmother had died, she thought lawyers would contact her about her inheritance. And when no one did, she thought she should reach out to me personally. She said that she wanted to give me some time and space to grieve, but she had recently gotten engaged and could really use some money to help out with the wedding expenses. I felt like I was getting punched in the gut, honestly. I thought that after all these years, my prayers were answered and I could have a family again, but it turns out she never cared for me in the first place, and all this was a way for her to get her inheritance. The funniest thing is that it's not even her inheritance legally, it's all mine. And if only she wasn't such a terrible daughter to me, she would definitely end up with most if not all of it. I don't care about money. I never have, honestly. I live in a house of my own, don't have any expensive hobbies, and mostly buy my clothes from Target. Even if the inheritance wasn't in question in the first place, I wouldn't have minded helping out with her wedding at all. If she had reached out nicely instead of trying to take advantage of me and only caring about the inheritance. All of this was going through my head at the same time. I somehow maintained my composure and asked her if that was all she wanted. She got very defensive and said that the inheritance comes second and her actual goal was to connect with me and she would never forgive herself for not reaching out while her grandmother was alive. She said that she had wanted to reach out for years but never got the courage to actually do it because she thought I would never forgive her for kicking me out without an explanation and that she was also manipulated by her mom. But I could see from the panicked look on her face that she was just trying to smooth things out so I could forgive her and I wondered if she was just after the money. I asked her how she knew she had an inheritance and she said that a couple of years before the divorce she was visiting my late mother and she told her that she wanted her to inherit everything left by my father who passed away years ago, as she was the only grandchild in the family. I don't have any siblings, and at that point my marriage was fine, so I understand why my mother might have said that to my daughter. I mean, if the divorce never happened or my daughter didn't abandon me for years after the divorce, the money would have been hers, as I've already mentioned. But the thought of her only caring about the money and giving me false hopes was absolutely crushing. I was devastated, but did my best not to let her know. At that moment, I thought the only way of testing my daughter's intentions would be to see how she would react if I told her that there was no money to inherit. I asked her how much she expected from the inheritance, and she made quite a decent guess. I could tell that some planning went into this whole thing. I then told her that I'm sorry to disappoint her, but that her grandmother actually left everything to me years ago and I plan on using that money to start a business so I couldn't help her out. I offered to help out for her wedding with my own money by offering a few grand for wedding expenses. The disappointment on her face proved my worst fears. She said that she appreciated my offer, but as the only grandchild, she deserves at least some of the inheritance because it's her grandma's money that she was offered. I told her that I wished I could help her, but my decision was final and there was nothing I could do for her if she wasn't happy with the money I was offering. She went completely red in the face and started getting visibly angry. She told me again to reconsider my decision, but I reiterated that I was going to stick to what seemed right to me. And that's when she showed her true colors and said something that confirmed all my doubts regarding her true intentions. She told me that she should have known that I'll always be the selfish a-hole her mother said I was, and she's glad I'm alone in life. I looked at her with barely concealed disgust. Her words were hurtful, but at that point, I knew what to expect. I just didn't expect her to get that brutally honest that fast, that's all. She started to say something else, but I stopped her before she could speak. I told her that I should have known she was her mother's daughter and that the only reason she would reach out to anyone was to ask for a favor. I also told her that using the fact 
that I was grieving for my mother to try and manipulate me was disgusting, even for a person like her. She tried to say something at that point, but I just laughed in her face and said that if only she had not blocked me all those years ago, she would have gotten my texts about her grandmother and would have probably gotten most, if not all, of the inheritance. That sentence had the effect I wanted. She looked utterly baffled and asked me what I meant. I told her to unblock me on her old number so I could resend her all the texts that could never get delivered. Well, she did. I forwarded all the texts where I begged her to hear me out and even let her know that her grandmother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and I wanted them to meet before she forgot about her only grandchild completely. This was completely true, as at the beginning of her illness, my mom did often mention my daughter and ask to see her. I remember how it broke my heart to not be able to fulfill that wish. And now this ungrateful, cruel child had the audacity to ask for inheritance. To my daughter's credit, I will admit that she looked ashamed after reading all of those messages. She apologized to me but said that looking at these messages, it was clear that her grandma would want her to have her share of the inheritance and it isn't fair for me to punish her like this. She said that she was young and didn't know any better during the divorce or else she would have handled things definitely. She also told me that she genuinely wants to rebuild our relationship and if I choose to be selfish now, she won't feel comfortable in continuing our relationship. I told her that if money is what makes or breaks it for her, then maybe it's better if we don't have a relationship at all. I wanted to believe her when she said all that crap about rebuilding our relationship. I truly did. But at that point, I couldn't. I told her that I would consider giving our relationship another chance, but the inheritance was out of the question. She looked at me with pure hatred and left my house. I didn't try to stop her at all. Since then, I've spoken to a few of my friends. Most of them agree that I did the right thing. But one of my closest friends said that since I don't really care about the money, I should just forget about it and let my daughter have at least some of it if it meant having family in my life. I don't agree with this. But ever since he said it, I can't get it out of my head. Should I give my daughter part of my inheritance? Update 1. Hi there. This post got a lot more responses than I thought it would. Thanks for your advice and opinions. It gave me the perspective I needed. I guess I'll start by answering the most common question. What happened during the divorce? I haven't spoken about it for years, but I guess it can't hurt anymore. So my wife and I were married for 23 years. You'd think after all those years, she wouldn't be able to stab me in the back, but she did. I really don't want to get into the details, but I found out that she was cheating on me with multiple men. Apparently, it had been going on for years before I finally found out. When I found out, I was completely devastated. I didn't know how to confront her, so I started drinking heavily and sleeping around as well. I nearly destroyed my life. I fought a lot with her and I guess that and the drinking made it really easy for her to manipulate my daughter into taking her side. After nearly a year of living like that and being separated, we finally confronted each other and got divorced. My ex-wife used to be a journalist at the time and is kind of a local celebrity. She used her influence to try to destroy my reputation and was nearly successful. After the divorce, it took me a lot of time to quit drinking and get back to my normal life. As I've said already, my daughter completely abandoning me did not help to say the least. I'll admit that when I found out about my ex's affairs, I kind of went off the rails and wasn't present as a parent for my daughter. Even during the time, I was separated and for a year or so after the divorce, I pretty much always kept to myself and wasn't there for my daughter. But once I stopped drinking and got my life back together, the first thing I did was to reach out to her and apologize. But she refused to listen to me and blocked me everywhere. I thought giving her time would work and she would eventually come around. But here we are eight years later and our relationship has only gotten worse with time. Now, the other big question about my mom's inheritance. Well, technically, the money belonged to my father. 
My grandparents were both doctors and had brought property all around the city during their careers. Most of it was rented out and ended up bringing in a lot of money. Dad passed away when I was 21 and left everything to mom. All of it remained in her name during my marriage and for a few years after my divorce while her health was still right. After mom passed away, I received everything as her sole heir. My wife didn't receive anything in the divorce except alimony till she got remarried a few years ago because my mom owned everything at the time. So the way things stand, my daughter never even got close to owning anything. She knew, of course, that her grandma was a landlady and owned a couple of Airbnbs, but I never touched any of that money because the money I made from my old construction business was more than enough to live comfortably. I hope I've answered all your questions. Also, my daughter hasn't reached out to me after that night, and I don't think she will, to be honest. I think she made it pretty clear that she only put up with this whole show for the inheritance, and now that it's out of the question, I don't expect to see her around anymore. I'd be lying if I said I am not at all upset about it, but at this point, I know not to expect too much out of people, no matter who they are. So that's that, I guess. Thanks to all of you for sending support. I appreciate it. I also think it's maybe time for me to put myself out there and maybe get back into dating and find companionship instead of expecting ghosts from my past to come around. Update two. It's been quite a week, guys. I thought that would be my last and only update, but I guess life had other plans. Anyway, I had just gotten back from work and was considering going out with a couple of buddies when the doorbell rang. I wasn't expecting anyone, but opened the door and there she was. My worst nightmare. She has changed her hair and lost some weight, so it took me a couple of seconds to recognize her, but it's hard to forget someone you were together with for decades. Seeing her was quite a shock, to say the least. I didn't know what to say, so I just stood there awkwardly. She then asked me if I had a moment to talk about some stuff. I was hesitant but didn't want her to stand there at my door, so I just invited her in. It was really awkward, as you guys can probably imagine. We made small talk about this and that, and then she said that she understood that this was a little strange, but there were some things she needed to tell me. I asked her to go on, and she said that our daughter reached out to her and told her about the inheritance. I think I kind of saw that coming. I mean, why else would she need to speak to me after all these years? Anyway, she said that she understood the divorce was really hard on me and that she took things further than she probably should have. I just scoffed at that, but she ignored my reaction. She then said that I shouldn't punish my daughter for what happened between the two of us. She said some of the same things my daughter has said, such as her being very young at the time of the divorce and how I can't be resentful towards her for choosing her mother over me. I just stopped her at that point and said that I have no resentment towards anyone anymore and that even if I held on to any anger, it wouldn't be towards our daughter. I told her that I was hurt at the realization that after all those years, she only thought of reaching out for her father because there was a possibility of getting some money out of it. I told her the same thing I told my daughter, that if she had the decency to try and reconnect earlier, she would have ended up with the inheritance. My ex tried to put up some sort of defense, but I told her that my decision was final and if they're just going to go around in circles about this one thing, then they're wasting everyone's time. I said that I had plans and that if there was nothing else to discuss, she should probably leave. She nodded and apologized for bothering me and I told her there was no need for that and she left. After she left, I just sat there in disbelief. I never expected to ever see her again, let alone have a conversation in my home. It was strange and brought up a lot of old memories that I would rather not have thought about ever again. I went out with my friends and tried to forget all about it. So yeah, that happened and I needed to get it off my chest because... Thanks for reading along if you're still here. Update 3. I have another update for you guys. So this afternoon, I was at work when I got a call from my daughter. I thought of not picking up, but curiosity got the best of me and I picked up. 
I picked up and straight away told her that if this was about the inheritance that I really don't think there's a point in us having a conversation. She said that there was something else she wanted to talk about. I asked her to go on and she said that she had been thinking a lot about what happened and felt she owes me an apology. She said that she understood that she should have done things differently and that if I was willing to forgive her and give our relationship another chance, then she would be happy to have me at her wedding. I was really taken aback to say the least. I asked her if she was sure about it and she said yes and that I could take some time to think about it and let her know if I'd be there or not. I said all right and we hung up. I'm really confused now. A part of me is overjoyed at the thought of being at her wedding but I also can't seem to shake the feeling that this is just some way for her to be on my good side and eventually get the inheritance. At the same time, if she's actually being genuine, I don't want to sabotage my chance at being in her life. If I say no and she never reaches out again, I could hardly blame her. I'd appreciate some advice if anyone would like to help me out. Update 4. I've decided to go to the wedding. Many of you said that going to the wedding couldn't do any harm. I guess that makes sense. It's not like I have to do anything in return for being invited to the wedding. Also, no, I'm not in the wedding party. I'd just be a guest. I'm fine with that as I understand that going from someone she hasn't spoken to in eight years to someone walking her down the aisle at the wedding is a big leap. I don't think either of us would be comfortable with that. I really do hope this is the start of a new chapter and that we can build something meaningful out of this. Thanks to all of you for listening and all the advice you've given. I appreciate it and hope you guys wish me luck. Stay tuned for more stories from Our Girl Relationships.